listen up rangers welcome to the geek chest my name's steve and today i never realized we never actually reviewed this guy it's been sitting down here forever like he's been posed hanging on my display the box has been hanging out in the office to remind me that i needed to review this but after doing the uh by cutie makama and doing a quick search because i was like oh, i'll just use like the stuff from him to transport to the video i was like wait there isn't one <laughs> So for this unimportant review, we have the Samurai Sword from Chainsaw Man. Or I, as I like to know him as Katana Man. Because <laughs> I think that's initially what stuck forward with me. But the box is Samurai Sword, so I'm assuming that's more of his official name. Uh, anyways, main reason I have this, really like the anime. Thought he was a cool little villain for the series. Well, at least for the first season anyways. Um, and also with these reviews they are unedited and go up in our patreon in advance so if you guys like up donate and also see these videos in advance super would appreciate it also we have a discord attached to our patreon as well anyways we're not gonna idle too long here on this because we already got him open up out of his cardboard present for the box you get some yellow some blacks some blood splatters you get the sticker so you know it's officials samurai sword on the side back just so as i'm standing doing some poses it's kind of how i decided to more or less <laughs> have my position just blades for days and some league of mumbo jumbos on the bottom anyways gotta crack this open real quick to grab the random accessories because for the most part he's pretty much just a ch um, not the exact same figure as chainsaw man but kind of set up in the same fashion where he does come with extra hands, but you'll see they have the splits in them. And what that's for is these separate out, they peg into each other. And that goes around the hands here. Because you see the blade goes through the entirety of the hand, kind of like <laughs> a morbid wolverine. I just kept the clenched fist on mine because it's... Personally, I think the look works a little bit better. Also, this one's peg is out super far. I'm just now noticing. Weird, because that one lines up with this hand. I say, do these rotate? I thought they wrote, yeah, this one rotates. But this one doesn't. Oh no, it does, okay, it's just. Differ. <laughs> so for some odd reason, this one's the the peg sticks out a little bit farther on this side. I think that has something to do with the hand here. Okay, that can go in. All right, that is odd. So I, I just not realize that because, like I said, this guy's been hanging. I like I posed him, set him on the shelf. And I'm like, yeah, I'll get back to reviewing this guy eventually. <sighs> So one thing that's always fun with Bandai stuff once in a while is you get some weird, I don't like to call it quality control issues because it's not like it was broken or anything, but it just wasn't quite placed in the arm <laughs> as well as it probably should have been. Uh, but again, you kind of see that with a lot of other toy lines. Like there's so many of these things made that it's bound to happen. At some point, man, that one does not want to come through. But for the hands, you just separate them. Be careful because this is a thin piece of plastic, so it isn't super hard to break. Yeah, there we go. I had somebody complain about in one of my videos that my nails were too long. And this is the reason why I like having my nails long. <laughs> <laughs> a little longer is it makes life so much easier because they're getting a little too long so i did clip them recently but with my customizing and what have you it helps to have a little bit of a nail and then just for this stuff in general but these will just connect back together and now he's got a little bit more dynamic hands. Which work pretty well too, depending on the posing you want to go with. Be honest, with the way I had them, the open hand might be the better way to go about it. And then for the other accessories, so you get 
two kind of relaxed hands. You get the two clenched fists, two clasping hands, and that's about it. And then for his face, he comes with open mouth and closed mouth, which how you do these is you actually have to pop the head off. And then this comes apart here. You take the sword out of there. Swap it back in. <laughs> this just has a, a little handle like you just go around a beating somebody with a cat. I feel like I need to give that to my Leonardo or something. You can just run around, just use his head as a weapon. It's very like Elden Ring style there. And then pops right back on. Now you got closed mouth expression, which honestly I think works a little bit better than with uh, the Chainsaw Man figure because the one complaint I had with that figure was the mouth tend to pop off easy and it was just a little bit of a pain. I'll try to line up sometimes. Well, that kind of circumvents the problem a little bit. And then for the rest of the figure, he's got his traditional long coat, very dark gray with some gold there for the buttons. Same with the shirt, dark gray. He's got some pockets going around. Holy crap, he's got a, he's this guy from the 90s. He's got pockets freaking everywhere. Also some copyright information on the back. He's made in Vietnam. Legs look good. Knees don't look too bad. He's got some super shiny dress shoes. Just look really solid as well. And for his articulation, head can look down about that far. Up about that far. Looks side to side. Man, that emblem on the hat just kind of... <laughs> I get why it's cut in half. It just seems kind of weird that, like, where the rest... Well, I guess the rest of it would have went with the sword bits. But head can look down about that far. About that far. Can look side to side. Nice range of motion there. Same with the arms. Go up about the far. Down about that far. Forward and back, you can rotate it. It's all on its own ball joint up here. Single jointed elbow, but you get a little bit better than a 90 degree. Hands can rotate, like I mentioned. Also, that little peg does kind of come out a little bit if you need to. For the stomach region, really nice bend forward. Not gonna get too much of a back because of the coat and it being more of a rubber. It gives you a little bit of play there, but honestly, it still isn't that bad, to be fair. It's a little flight more flexible than I'm quite used to. Nice rotation, side to side wiggle, legs go outwards about that far, inwards about that far. Uh, sometimes with these, you do get a, a shifting motion with some of these legs. This one does not appear to have that. The rotation at the top of the thigh, double jointed knee toe articulation the feet can go forward and back and rotate side to side and wiggles so really solid articulation detail awesome love the face neck looks cool honestly i think out of the ones we've gotten so far i still would say power is probably like most bane for your buck figure but i think in terms of like cool actual figure samurai sword is definitely winning for me <laughs> i just love the look like whoop. I love that the hand pops off easy. <laughs> That's what I meant to do. That's one thing. It kind of helps if you have a hair dryer or some warm water. And by warm, I meant hot water in order to make sure that these hook together. So like that's a, definitely a bit of a pain. Well, I, again, I like the chainsaw man figure too. But. He has slightly less problems. I still think looks super, super dope. And, well, I got him here. Because my main aggravation with him is the tie likes to pop off real easy and then the jaw can be a little bit of a pain in the butt. And then because of the way his chainsaws are here, the elbows are weird. It's just, by design, he's a little weird. But still a super sweet figure. But, personally, kind of dig him a little bit more. But still dope.
Still super dope. And if you guys like to pick up some Chainsaw Man figures for yourself, link in the description for Entertainment Earth Hulk Support Channel. Get yourself some sweet action figures. I think a lot of these guys are actually sold out by now, but you can definitely check it out. Or if you guys are planning on doing any other purchases, uh, again, help support the channel. And they do free shipping codes over $80. And help us defeat those guys just by hitting the like button, subscribe, and comment on your video. We also got Instagram, Patreon, TikTok, Facebook. Guys, like you by the day, which channel to donate. Really would appreciate it. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye. I was about to just mention that I was like, man, it'd be kind of cool if the blade was on the other side too, so it wouldn't be like the dull side hitting there, but then it wouldn't really be a good time to meander samurai sword demon dude without it. With them. Anyways, bye bye.